everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I look a little bit weird and a little bit undone but I do have a very good reason. You guys know I love me a sparkly thing and uh, when I saw these launching I kind of couldn't help myself. <laughs> Today I'm going to be testing and reviewing the new Beauty Bay Living My Best Light Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow. These retail for £6, which is a pretty good price. They come in six shades and I picked up five of the six. They're going to be going through all the colours. I'm going to try them on my eyes as well. See how they lay down. Do they bunch up? Do they not sparkle that well? And are they comparable to pretty much my favourite liquid eyeshadow, the Stila Magnificent Metals? These babies are honest. Ow. Rude. You mess up my makeup, bitch. <laughs> I mean, these guys pretty much are like a cult favourite these days. They're so good, so easy to do a cut crease, but they are £24 for this little thing. Like, what? <laughs> if they are comparable shades, I am going to compare them to the Stila ones. I'm pretty intrigued to see what Beauty Bay's got up their sleeve. Are these comparable? Are these very glittery and blinding? I'm real excited to see. So, uh, without further ado, let's see what's inside these babies. Before we get into all the magical, sparkly things, if you are new to my channel and you're just now stopping by, I hope you decide to stay on my channel and decide to subscribe. It would really mean the world if you decided to join this little community I've started. All you need to do is hit the red subscribe button. And if you want to get notified of all my videos, all you need to do is hit the bell next to it uh, but yeah without further ado let's get into the sparkly things yes I just realized I actually forgot to put lipstick on so I'm gonna go do that real quick be right back okay so zoomed you guys in just a little bit so we can see what's going on so this is what the packaging looks like it's silver holographic with the red writing so the website says that these make your glitter ritual simple they're supposed to be long-lasting with a creamy formula can be used alone as a sparkly shade or over a shadow for a killer metallic finish it actually says you can wear these on the lids cheeks and and lips for hours of smudge, fade, and crease-free shimmer. There's a lot of claims, Beauty Bay. There's a lot of claims. <laughs> On the actual bottle, it says that it's a sheer pigment, but it also says you can cut the crease, pop in the inner corner, dab, line, blend, if you wish. Inside these, you get 4.5 mil. The word sheer doesn't give me a lot of hope, <laughs> but hey, let's stop reading the fine print and let's actually get to seeing what the shades look like. Let's open up the bottle. It looks kind of similar to the Stila ones, but obviously it's got the matte black cap and also living my best light on the front of it. But this one looks super duper pretty. All right, I'm just gonna unpack them all. <laughs> so the shades I have are Opal, Precious Topaz, Moonstone, Fluorite, Fluorite, fl Fluorite, Am I All Right? <laughs> I don't know how to say this one. And Peach Quartz. They do have the shade names on the bottom of the actual bottle, so if you lose the packaging, it's still on here. Fluorite looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have such a hard time choosing which one to put on my lids. So hopefully I can try a few and see if they layer well. But I have gone for kind of like a neutral look today. Oh my gosh. Now this is my jam. Opal. Oh my god, this is so pretty. If this wears nice, I might wear this to Ariana Grande. I'm seeing her this week. I'm so excited. Right, this is the one that looks like the Stila Magnificent Metals in Kit and Karma. This is called Precious Topaz. Ooh, it looks good. I think this would look good on the lid, actually. I literally just have all matte on my eyes right now, and I don't know who I am. <laughs> just like a sin for me. I don't like it. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm gonna try... What am I gonna do? I, d I don't know. I'm feeling like these three. So we've got Precious Topaz, Peach Quartz, and Moonstone. Thinking about maybe doing like an ombre like that. Can you see? Okay, so now you guys have seen the swatches. It's now time to try it on my lids. My eyeshadow is a little bit patchy today. I use the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I just can never get that to work well for me. It just always looks a little bit ashy. Like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit further so you can actually see my eyeballs. I'm gonna go in with Precious Topaz, which again is kind of like the dupe for Stila. Like they look very similar. I'd say the Stila has a bit more pink to it. But if you look at them side by side, they do look very, very similar. I'm just gonna swatch them side by side. Okay, and there's the Stila one there. As you can see, it's a lot more pigmented even though it is dried out to hell, but they look super duper pretty. So far though, the Stila one is looking a lot more pigmented. But let's see how this goes on on the lid. A lot comes out on the actual spatula, doe foot thing. I wouldn't suggest going in with that much on the lid, just because, I mean, it's a lot of product. And I kind of want to do like a gradient, so just lowering you guys down a little bit, because you're too high, man. You're too high. Okay, that's better. You're closer and you can see what's going on more. So I kind of want to try and like cut the crease a little bit. That is so pretty. Oh, ho, ho. I like it. I see it. 
I like it, I want it, I got it, yeah. So it is a little bit more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. Looking at the swatch on my hand compared to the way it's applied to my lid, I'm really pleasantly surprised. It is very wet feeling. I'm just gonna see if I can kind of like blend it with my finger a little bit while it's drying. Perfect. It says you can blend these with a brush if you want to. I have picked up a lot of the product in doing that, but the shine is still pretty much there. So it's taking a minute to dry. I'm just gonna leave it there for a second. It's still kind of drying, but I really wanna go in with the peach quartz color. And I'm just gonna go right next to it on the outer side of the corner. Ooh, oh, that is pinky peachy. That is so gorgeous. They do feel slightly whipped, but they are more on the liquidy side. And again, I'm just going to pat the edges. They're super easy to blend, it's not hardening down too quickly. And they've blended really well together as well. I really like that gradient. This has quite a lot of playtime, maybe a little bit too much playtime. That initial shade that I applied, when I kind of blended it with my finger, I don't know if you can see, but there's a big chunk missing now. So if you blended it with your finger, you might take up a lot of the product if you go in too hasty. So maybe just allow it a little bit of time. These don't feel like a quick Quick swipe on and go product like they're still drying down right now I do really like the effect though look how seamlessly they blend together they look so pretty okay, I'm just gonna try and layer it up a little bit by here where I kind of missed the pigment and I'm leaving this in a third for a different color because <laughs> I want to dry as many as I can yeah these are very liquidy they stay wet for quite a while this is the shade moonstone which looks honestly one of the most sparkly ones it's the silver and it looks like it has maybe a hollow in there can't quite make it out don't come for me but it looks like there may be some slight hollows in there maybe somewhere very 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 pretty and it does look very similar to Stila diamond dust in the bottle like side by side they look very 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 similar let's swatch these let's see wow this one's very very, very liquidy. I have a feeling this one is even more dried up than my King Karma, so it's gonna be hard to get this one out. Oh dear. Yeah, this is just flaking everywhere. Okay, Stila definitely has more color to it. It looks like the Stila has a little bit more gold. Side by side, they look so freaking similar. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the inner corner with this color and hopefully it all looks good. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, you can't even see. This looks magical and I only just put my paddle down. <laughs> Ooh, where were these when I did my <laughs> Ariana Grande inspired Monopoly tutorial? <laughs> These would have been perfect. This one is a little bit more sheer and a lot more glitter, which I really like. <laughs> so this one would be a better topper, I feel, than an actual eyeshadow by itself. This one is going on my inner corner. Like, this is this is beautiful. Hello, glitter, hello, shine. Can I make your own mind? Yeah. Should I make my own song? Just that. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do a yellow waterline when I knew I was going to be playing with with glitter that may have different colors in it because now I look absolutely crazy. <laughs> now everyone will know, okay? And I don't, I didn't need everyone to know. <laughs> mm. Again, be careful with the dry down of these. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I've taken like a big chunk off with my finger. We're trying to blend the two together. <sighs> but at least they seem to layer okay. So I'm not having troubles with them then layering on top of each other funky. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye and then we'll be right back to discuss my thoughts, my feelings on these products. But yeah, let's uh, let's discuss how I really feel about these. I have a few thoughts. <laughs> I'm gonna do my lashes and everything else as well and uh, then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm sorry if the lighting's changed. My main light has managed to bust so uh, um, the lighting's probably changed just a little bit, so sorry about that. <laughs> so I popped on some mascara and lashes and this is the finished look. I really think it looks very pretty and I do love the effect that these have given. If you are looking for sparkle in a bottle, these are your gals, okay? They give such a glittery, glimmery effect to the lid and I do feel like I am gonna be using 
shoes in these. As you guys know, I love myself a liquid shadow. I've tried so many. I've got MAC, Huda, Makeup Revolution, Barry M. I've always loved a liquid eyeshadow. They're just so easy to pop on. They give such a pretty effect to the eye and they're just quick and easy, you know? They're really simple to use and I think that's one of my favorite things about them. These ones, they obviously are quick and easy to use to put on. They did take quite a while to actually dry down on the lid so I kind of had to keep my eyes closed or looking down while they dried just in case they creased. Although looking at my actual eye now, they haven't creased at all and I've had my eyes open, you know, I've been putting on my lashes and they have not creased in the lid, which is amazing. I do find with cheaper liquid eyeshadows, they do tend to bunch up. Also, it didn't affect my eyeshadow or the base that I had underneath. It's just layered on top really nicely so I haven't got any bunching, I haven't got any removal of the eyeshadow. I'm really glad that these have not done that. One thing to note though, these aren't like the Stila Magnificent Metals. They give a similar look and similar effect. However, they're not as pigmented and they don't have as much of a base layer. I think that's what the main thing is with the other liquid eyeshadows that I tried. They never have that kind of pigmented base where it creates that very seamless cut crease and also gives a magical glitter effect over the top. This is just pretty much the glitter. So I would suggest layering these. So if you've got a pretty much already finished base and you want to add a little bit of a flare to the look, if you want to add some glitter or if you want to add some like color shift like these colors are really shifty. I have a feeling with these colors if you layer them over different bases they're going to give a different reflex. So I think you can really play with these and really tailor them to your look. Even though it kind of had a little bit of a moussey texture it was very thin and it felt very wet and watery. It's a super thin formula. I don't feel like there's anything heavy on my lid and also my lids don't feel restricted. Some of the liquid eyeshadows that I've tried they make my eyelids feel really stiff and like I can't move them afterwards. I don't feel that at all with this product. Like the Huda ones, I feel like my lids just weigh a ton. It's so heavy on the eyes, but this one, I don't feel it on my lids at all. And I can like relax my face and I don't feel like my eyes are all crusty. It glided on the lid really evenly. It's only when I went in to kind of blend it with my finger that it kind of patch off a little bit. So bear that in mind. Maybe it'd be better to use a brush to spread it out. Just personally with these kind of products, because they're kind of like a convenient thing that they just swipe on and go. I prefer to use my fingers. As it's kind of dried down, I do feel like it's lost a little bit of the sheen and it's more just the glitter residue left over, which is still super pretty, but you don't get that kind of like metallic that I personally really love. You know, for a cheap liquid eyeshadow, I think it's a strong contender. And the shade range is really cute. It's got a nice array of shades. It's got your kind of neutrals and then pops of color. So I personally really, really like these. I'm definitely gonna be using these again. I may actually insert a clip of me trying these on a different day to see what I think about them to see if there's any inconsistency with the shades or anything like that. I'll try a different technique and see if I can discuss through that as well. It's maybe a long video and an extra review but I really want to try these properly because I use liquid eyeshadows so freaking much <laughs> that I just want to try these in different ways and really get down to the nitty gritty. Hey guys, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me and I'm feeling good. Uh, it's the next day and I really want to try these out again, like I said I would. <laughs> but I just want to do a pretty simple eye look today. I've got kind of like a glowy base, bronzer through my crease kind of day, you know. But I wanted to try this shade which is opal and I want to try blending it with a brush today instead of my fingertips and see how this works. I'm just going to pop this on all the way across the lid. Now I'm just going to take my brush and I'm just going to blend the edges with this. Yeah, these are very, very sheer. It is very pretty though and has given like a nice purpley, pearlescent look to my eye. There isn't a lot of glitter though in this one. Just layered that up a little bit and it gives off a little bit more of that sheen. I would say of the two blending it with a brush on my finger, I do still prefer my finger because it's a little bit more controlled, but it has still blended out okay with the brush. It's just not as concentrated now that I've done that. But yeah, that's what the color opal looks like just on my bare skin. There is a little bit of concealer as a base and with just a little bit of bronzer. I think that looks really pretty. But yeah, I'm gonna go finish my makeup now and we'll go back to Kiriel in the past. But yeah, I really like these. I really love the colors. I love the way my eyes turned out. So yeah, so far I'm really digging these. If I decide to try these in the near future, I'll be adding the clips in 
background here. But yeah, I'm gonna now sign off. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you're interested in these down below. If you like content like this and you wanna see more from me, then please subscribe. All you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button, and then you'll get notified of all my new uploads. And if you love Sparkle in Your Life, just like I do, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then, bye guys. You are my boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, excuse you. Whew. So I would, so I would suggest laying. The, uh, my hair looks gross. Ew. I'm having my nails done tomorrow to see Ariana Grande. My nails have been naked for so long. I can't even remember what it feels like to have nails anymore. <laughs> Be a man, you must be swift as a crossing river Mysterious as the dark side of the moon These guys can be scared to death We don't see right through me I said that in one breath and almost died, oh my god <laughs>